I believe we need to build a much bigger conservative party. A party that can win in cities, that can win in Atlantic Canada, that can re-earn the trust of new Canadians. A party that includes people from all regions and all races, religions and creeds. A party that is focused on a true blue conservative economic agenda, job creation and wage growth. I want to be your leader to help write the next chapter, building on the strengths of the first chapter and using conservative principles to reach out to more voters, particularly millennial voters who the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister just said better get used to job churn. That is an absence of leadership, ladies and gentlemen, giving up on a generation of people saying you better get used to being underemployed. We need a leader that can reach out and build bridges based on their experience and their abilities and their track record. Fundamentally, we need to learn two important lessons from the last election. The first is that we don't need to change our policies. We don't need to become liberal light. We don't need to offer policies to, cons to Canadians that we know won't work. We need to stay true to our real conservative values and principles. But we do have to think about how we can reach a broader audience, articulate a positive message uh, to Canadians. It wasn't our policies, it was the way we spoke about them. I didn't get any doors slammed in my face because people were upset at the balanced budget or fists shaking at me because they didn't like the tax-free savings account. But there was something protect, uh, preventing Canadians, a broader audience of Canadians, from vo voting for us. I know I can keep our conservative movement united on the things that we can agree on and reach more voters, younger voters, all those people that weren't looking at us in the last election because of our inability to positively articulate our values and policies.